Hey everybody, Johnny here. I want to do a quick video on how to do a cross-section shader like this, just using a couple of shader nodes and an empty object. Let's jump into it. So to start, I'm just going to add a cube. And then I'm going to add another object to cut out some of the center so we have something interesting to look at. Then I'm just going to add a boolean modifier to subtract these tubes from this cube. And I'll go ahead and apply that. Jumping into shading mode, I'll add a new shader to the cube. For now, we'll just use the principled BSDF as our basic shader. But for the cutout part, we want to add a transparent shader. And then we want to combine these with a mix shader. At this point, you'll end up with the entire object semi-transparent. This isn't what we're going for. We want to be able to control where the object is sliced. To do that, we'll use the coordinates of another object. In this case, an empty. Jumping into front view, I'll add a new empty. To get the coordinates from the empty, I need to add a texture coordinate node and point it at the empty. In this case, I want to use the x-coordinate of my empty as the determining factor of where my shader is going to get split. So I need to take this object texture coordinate and split it up. To do that, we'll use a separate xyz node. When we use the object coordinates like this, the shader can now determine its relative position to the empty we're going to use its X position. I'm going to plug the X output of this into the factor of our mix shader. This gets us closer to what we want, but the problem is everything to the left of the center point of the empty is negative, and so it's completely transparent, but then to the right, it gradually increases. We want a hard cutoff at the zero point. To do this, we're going to use a math node. To change it, to greater than. We're going to set the greater than threshold to zero. This means that anywhere that the x coordinate is less than zero, it's going to be zero. And anywhere that the x coordinate is greater than zero, it's going to be one. And we're feeding that zero and one into this mix shaders factor. You can already see that this is giving us the effect we want. I can now move the empty and have it slice the object. Because this uses the object's coordinates and not the global coordinates, rotating the object also works. In this way, you could do some pretty interesting cross sections just by using shaders and not affecting your actual meshes. I hope this gives you some good ideas and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. If you're liking the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.